Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, of course continue with the questions and we're going to actually talk about one way that you can absolutely uh, extend the life of your PC because there will be a number of people that will arrive with the end of support in 2025 on a perfectly working PC. It's just that it's unsupported for Windows 11 or 12. And one way to extend the life of that PC, well, it's to run it unsupported. And that is a possibility. You can have that happening. And actually, it's interesting because in the number of responses that I've seen, I did get uh, quite a few answers uh, to my question about, you know, um, Windows 12 and, and moving on and the end of support of Windows 10. Um, so in, in there, there was, of course, some people are going to jump over Windows 11, buy a new PC, get Windows 12. Some people are going to, um, you know, see what they're going to do, probably buy a new PC at some point. But one of the interesting answers of the, um, of that question was that there was quite a few of you that said, I'm going to run Windows 12 until the end, Windows 10, sorry, until the end. And when Windows 10 gets end of support, I will jump into the unsupported Windows 11 uh, crowd, which is an interesting answer. It definitely is an interesting way to continue forward. And it's an interesting way to get more mileage off of your PC, definitely, if you want to run Windows. So that that definitely is something that um, will, will work and, and could work. Uh, one of the things that is uh, one of the a few of the questions that I get is first of all, um, I have some people saying, "Well, is there a time when unsupported will you know not be allowed anymore?" I don't think so. I think Microsoft opened that loophole of being able to run unsupported to kind of relax the crowd that is mad about the fact that the minimum requirements are so high. And I'm pretty sure that's that's what they thought. They thought, well, the enthusiasts that are mad that their PC can't upgrade has a way to upgrade. So, and it's going to work. And I think they're going to keep that. And I even think they're going to keep it in Windows 12. Like that, it's going to kind of relax the crowd that's a little mad about minimum requirements. Um, the other question is, will they allow me to go to a next version of our next feature update. So for example, you know, we had 21 H2, we are not on 22 H2 right now, um, which is 22 H2. But one of the things that of course is going to happen is this year, we're going to have 23 H2. Now on my unsupported PC, I got 22 H2. So I'm okay until next year, late next year, um, because each version gets two years. So 22H2 will get end of support in 20 and the end of 2024. Uh, if you upgrade with 23H2 later this year, you'll be okay until 2025, late 2025, because you get 24 months of support. Uh, this is the place where it's complicated. When you want to upgrade to a new feature update, what I understand right now is that unsupported hardware does not see the new update. So when 23H2, for example, will be official, 22H2 or 21H2 people that are unsupported will probably not see 23H2 as an option. It will be hidden. Um, just like people that have hardware problems that uh, or, or incompatibilities, they don't show these new updates until later. So that's where it might get complicated for people. It might be possible that you'll have to upgrade by reinstalling again, but with the latest version. So for example, on my unsupported, I will keep it on 22H2 until late next year. But when 24H2 appears, well, what's going to happen is I will probably have to reinstall it uh, via, you know, a USB thumb drive and um, have it, of course, have the image of 24H2, for example, with my, uh, with Rufus so that it actually installs again. This is where it gets complicated. Uh, new feature updates probably don't show up 
when you're unsupported. And that's where it's more complicated. It doesn't mean you can't go forward. It just makes it more complicated. So these are uh, the possibilities. But it's interesting to see that a lot of you have decided, well, you know what, I'm probably going to gonna go unsupported and, and at least have uh, a little more mileage off of my unsupported PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.